Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lisa Spitzel and today I'm gonna show you how to use Neo4j, the NoSQL graph database, in NetBeans. So we create a Maven Java application, give it a name, and then we go in our Palm XML and add the dependency for Neo4j. I use version 2.1.6. So then build with dependencies and while it's downloading we can start creating our main class. Well and now let's start. First we need a graph database factory. And then we need a graph database service. Now we initialize our service with the factory and create a new embedded database. For that database I've downloaded the Neo4j community server 216, unpack it in a directory and copy the path. So, oh, but that's not the full path. We also need the location of the database directory that's in the config folder under the Neo4j server properties. And there it is. So, just copy it at the end of your path. So, the next step is to open a transaction. Be careful to always use the Neo4j imports. And we begin the transaction. So now we create some data, and for that we need a node tab that's like an entity type, and we want to create persons and courses. So first define the enum, and it has to implement interface label from Neo4j. So our first entity person, and our second entity type course. So let's start with our first node. I call mine Bob node because this will be the person Bob. And in the create node, you can give in the node tag. In that case, it's a person. So now we set properties to our Bob. First of all, I set an ID. Then I set his name to Bob. And lastly, I set the age just as an example. So now we create a few more nodes. A second person called Alice. And you don't have to set the same properties, you can of course. So I'm gonna set the ID again and the name. So another person, the last one. And this one's just gonna have her name. So now we create some courses. The only difference is the node tab and of course the courses have different properties than the persons. I give the course a name too. This one is the IT beginner course. And the set location at room 153. So the second course. And 
This course is the Electronics Advanced course. So now we want to create relations between our nodes. And for that, we define a second enum called relation type. And this enum has to implement the interface relationship type defined from Neo4j. And we have two relations. Uh, the one is knows, so one person knows another one, and belongs to a person belongs to a course. To create the relation between Bob and Alice, we just type in create relationship two, if in the two nodes, and define the relationship type. Next, we create the relation between Bob and the IT course. And a relation can have properties too. So we define a variable of type relationship. And then we can set properties like we did by the nodes. So for example, I set function of Bob in the T course and he is a student. So let's create another relationship between Bob and the electronics course. And again, I set a property, a property function, but this time he's a supply teacher. And the last relationship will be between Alice and the IT course. And this time we set the property function to teacher. And we're nearly finished with creating our nodes. Just say the transaction succeeded and close the database connection. So let's try out our project. Click on run. And the build succeeded. So I switch in a terminal and I go to the directory of the Nail4j server and the start the server. So now we see it's available at localhost and I copy paste that into my browser. So we begin with our first cipher. With this one we get all our nodes and relations. Um, here we see our nodes. Um, if we click on Bob we see his properties like the name and the age. The same for the courses. And also the relationship properties are visible. We can change the style of the nodes, what's displayed on it. You can change the colors or the size of the nodes. So uh, next cipher will be to only get persons. And here we see the three persons with the relationship between Bob and Alice. We can select after a uh, relation to. For example, we select the belongs to relation. And here we see that the if node with no relation isn't visible anymore. This all the belongs to relations and the person needs. So now we want to select after a property 
and be careful because Neo4j is case sensitive. So we have to write the upper end in name and then we get our form. So the next statement will be a little more complicated. We want to get all persons who go into the IT course and we want the relations to. Again, be careful because Neo for Jerry's case sensitive. So here we got the IT course and the two persons belonging to the course. So before we go back to NetBeans, we shut down the server and now we want to create statements in NetBeans. For that we need an execution engine and be careful to import the Java Compact version. And for the results we need an execution result. Again, the Java Compact version. So before starting the query, we need to delete all existing data. That is done with the engine.execute and the cipher as string. This cipher will delete nodes as well as relations. So after deleting and creating data, we can finally fetch it and that is also done with engine.execute but this time we want to have the result and we just fetch all persons. And we need an iterator for all columns and we get the columns from our result. So now we go through all nodes in the result list. And we print out the node number and the property name. So let's see if it works. Start the program. And here we see our three person nodes with the names Bob, Alice and Eve. So I hope you enjoyed my video and thanks for watching.